Hi, I was on a I was on a stream today and I wanted to talk about what shifting left and shifting right is. Okay, so I am one of the people who talked about shifting left and pushing left all the time. So I take some responsibility for this. Shifting left and security. The idea is, is that you're starting security earlier because what we used to do is just come in at the end. It's like, oh, you're going to pra in a week? Cool, let's do a pen test. I'll tell you how you messed up and did such a terrible job because no one helped you at all till now. And then I'll blame it on you instead of me because I showed up really late. That's the way we used to do security for software. And so things have changed a lot now and people are starting to shift left. And by left, we mean literally physically left on a piece of paper because if you draw out the SDLC, you've got the requirements, then you've got the, the design, then you've got the coding, then you've got the testing, then you've got the release, maintenance, etc. And we're like, we want to start at the very beginning. We want to be there the whole way through. But now, like because of marketing people, um, a lot of people think what shift left means is put a bunch of automated tools in a CI CD pipeline and they will solve all your problems and make your hopes and dreams come true. And it turns out that's not very true. And so a lot of people have started saying like shift everywhere or shift right. And so shift everywhere is kind of like, we need to have security everywhere. And shift right means all the apps that already got released, those still count. And you might not think of something that's been out for two weeks as legacy, but sometimes people call it legacy, but basically all the apps are out there and prod. They still need security. Sometimes we need to retest them. We need to make sure their dependency are, are up to date. We don't wanna you know, accrue a whole bunch of technical debt because that is usually security debt. And so shift right can mean, you know, alerting on your app if something's wrong. So definitely we wanna have logging and monitoring, but what if your app isn't down, but it's having a really bad day? Maybe it needs to call for help. It can mean instant response. Like first of all, setting up things to tell us if it's been tampered with, but also like, what are the processes? What do we do? Maybe we wanna put a shield in front of it, like a WAF or a RASP. So WAF, Web App Firewall, RASP, Runtime Application Security Protection, which is like a shield. So we don't wanna just make sure we built it really securely, re release it and we just kiss it goodbye forever. <laughs> um, we wanna make sure that it continues to be solid and we wanna to continue to protect our organization. So anyway, I just wanted to explain, you know, shift left supposed to mean start security earlier in the SDLC, do it the whole way through. Shift right, continue to do security even after the SDLC is over. Do not stop. Anyway, I'm Tanya Janka and that's some AppSec.